also have um, Paul Gasol coming off a different screen, trying to get the ball as a flashing out cut. And if that's not there, he's going to die to the rim. So, Stu, you know in these situations, there are always like three or four different options out of the play, but it looks like the first try is going to get by the ball close to the rim. Yeah, those are good options, but the first option should be in, get the ball inbounded. Don't turn the ball over on the inbound play. Just get a shot attempt up near that rim because now then you put yourself in a position where it's just about 24 seconds going in the game you don't you protect the three-point line make them try to extend the game by fouling you don't give up any kind of a three-point play you know we've often said that the lakers have more assistant coaches than anybody in the league well they just added one more and he's being very verbal tonight it's kobe bryant he oh, was really engaged with the <laughs> high state assistant he's high state assistant yep second half, the Lakers have a shot 11, free throws made 8, New Orleans only shot 2, so an advantage there for the Lakers, one of the reasons why they have this 3-point lead. Again, Stu, 3.2 on the shot clock at 28 and a half in the game. I mean, there's a lot of time on the shot clock. You just can't get too anxious about making a bad decision on your inbounds pass. It's more important to get the ball inbound to your team than to turn it over and get them going in transition. There is your game reset. Plenty of opportunities to stop the clock for both teams. Here we go, crowd roaring. Hope you're enjoying it on KCAL. We'll have the San Antonio game at 5.30 on KCAL 9 on Wednesday. Stu and I will be there along with Mike. All right, out of bounds. World Peace will be taking it out. Let's see, you don't want an illegal screen. First option is Mike Trudell said would be allowed to buy them. Let's see if it works. World peace. Lineup's coming around. It's not there. Out on top. Sessions for three. Got it! Buries it to beat the shot clock and give the Lakers a six-point lead. Huge! Boy, you talk about a three. I mean, he had time to dribble it, but he just caught it and reared up. They don't have to review it to see if he's behind the line. Well behind the line. Rainbow splash the Lakers. Five, six.